Am I going to show you how to make a candy cane? Yes. Will it be hard? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Node Network Nightmares with Jonah McCall. Today I'm going to show you how to make a candy cane shader or texture, whatever you want to call it. Let's begin. So start with a cylinder. Extrude it, whatever you gotta do. You can extrude this outwards, rotate it on the X or Y axis, depending on how you uh, like to use your interface. Start rotating these into a candy cane like shape. You can use this by pressing certain buttons. I'm not gonna teach you the basics today. I'm gonna expect you to know how to make a decent candy cane. But you make it as delicious as your heart desires, and once you've got a delicious looking candy cane, you're ready for the next step, which is texturing. Boom, that's a good looking candy cane. Next, shading. New, principled BSDF, ha, that's not what we're gonna use. Well, it is what we're gonna use, but not what we're, it's gonna be our, whatever. Let's begin. So as you see, this is a very bland looking candy cane. And you know candy canes have lines, and you know what has, has lines? Wave texture. So plug in that wave texture into the base color, and if you have a Node Wrangler, um, uh, what it was it called, a preference, you can press Control T. Otherwise, add a mapping node and generate it. Now you're gonna change the rotation on whatever axis you want. I've tested it out. It you kind you can kind of get similar results, but I feel like uh, the best way to do it is on the Y axis. When you do that, you get um, you get these straight lines, and that's what a candy cane looks like. And if you disagree, what is wrong with you? Now, things are going to get slightly more complicated. Now, add in a color ramp. It's under uh, Converter. And change Linear to Constant. Now, if you drag this down, you see we have black lines. But candy canes don't have black lines. Some do, but not all of them. Now, this one is... Um, I'll make some red, because what other color would I use? And add in another color ramp, but this time make it green and on the other side. So you can just drag this over, make this green, or really whatever color you want, doesn't matter. Next, add in a mix RGB. Now you can put that right there, put that on top, and boom, it's mixing. You can change, play around a bit more with your settings, make your lines how you want them to look. But as you can see, it's kind of mixing the colors and it's not really getting the full brightness so what you want to do is add in another color ramp change one of the colors to black plug in the wave texture into that fact and plug the color into the fact of the mix RGB and if you do that if it should come out all nice and saturated now if it's and if it's looking a bit off like it's looking uh, just completely white what you can either do is switch the colors or you can just flip these around but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it how it is because I love it to be organized and I don't like it when the lines cross over. Next, you're going to want to add in a object info. You can find that under input or you can just search it up. Next, you're also going to want a multiply node or math, I guess. And take that math, change that to multiply, like I said. And now it's time to do some fun. Now plug in the random into get two object infos, plug in two randoms, or I suppose you could just do this, I don't really know. And then, now, you're gonna want to connect, this is this is where things get really complicated. You're gonna want to add a hue, uh, where are we gonna find that? It's under color, oh my goodness, color, hue and saturation, get two of those bad boys, um, plug it one e into each color of the candy cane line, and plug in that multiply value, into the hue. Now, as you can see, the candy cane is no longer original color. Now, before I show you the magic, next go to the uh, principal BSDF, change the roughness down to about 2.5 or 0.25, change the subsurface to about 0.2. Now, you can mess around with the subsurface radius. I just keep it all at one because candy canes are they're usually like white and so I don't want it to be absorbing mostly red light whatever however subsurface works and now here's the magic part if I go into rendered mode and I add in a bit of lights watch this if I copy it 
It's a different color. And a different color. A different color. What's going on? Oh my goodness. They're all they're all different colors. How, how is this possible? What? Whoa. That is how you make a candy cane shader. Texture. However you call it.